What's going on? I am back. I have been grinding Data Live, or however you say it, for like a day, alright? Because it's been like a day since I, I made a video. But I am on Season 2, Episode 3. I'm actually kind of digging it. I like it. Um, definitely like it. I like Toka. I like uh, um, uh, Kotori. I really like Kotori's name. I just really like that name. Always have. Anyway, um... It's cool anime, and I know names now, and I know stuff, so I can talk about it and not sound like an idiot. So anyway, um, that aside, jumping into the war game stuff. So I haven't grinded up as far. I lied to you guys. I've not spent Iris. I was like, should I spend Iris or, you know, crossover coming up? And I probably should have just spent a little bit of Iris, but I really want to save it for the crossover because there's going to be epic summons, all right? But anyway, um... I have looked at the top players, um, this may not surprise you, but there are a lot of physical rush teams, there are a lot of like tank teams, there are less um, magic rush teams um, in the top than, you know, typical, which is interesting to me. I guess most magic rush teams are turning into tank teams now, um, which is understandable, and I didn't see, I went through the top 10 earlier just kind of checking them out, and I didn't see any ailment teams, which was really interesting. I do really like ailment teams, so I... You know, I would have liked to see some in the top. I mean, I don't want to play against them, but <laughs> it would have been cool if they were there. Anyway, um, I'll go ahead and just, you know, run through the top 10 or 15 or so and just kind of check them out, see what there are, and, you know, see what they're doing. See what I guess they're doing it right, whatever they're doing. Uh, so we just have a physical rush team here, you know, the norm. They're, you know, normal characters that you have like on a physical rush team. Always Artemis. And then, you know, the Attack on Titan Eyes is a pretty big one. Um, Honor Bell is a pretty big one. We have, um, whatever her name is, Lenore is a pretty big one. Uh, Tione, the Thunder one, she's a pretty big one to have on there. Um, Summer Eyes, you know... Um, Valentine's Ryu, they're, they're, they're interchangeable, some of them are, it, it's just whatever you kind of want, but you typically want to have Artemis on there. Anyway, and then, you know, we have the Artemis Assist, the Artemis Assist is actually fire, um, we have the Hestia Assist that does plus 15% AoE damage, we have, you know, the Anya boosting some more physical damage, and then, obviously, we don't want ailments, that may be a reason that ailment teams aren't big right now because we do have a lot of ailment, you know, resist and stuff. So, I still think that they're good, though. I still think they're good. Anyway. Um, kind of like hiccup in there. Sorry. All right, anyway. I'm going to check out Uber Knight. Uber Knight. Um, he is running a tank team. Um, yeah, and the only tank assist he's running is the Freya assist. Now... Given he is running, you know, the Aina and the Chloe assists in the back row. But everyone runs those, so it's not like those are tank-specific assists. Um, but the only, like, tank-specific assist that he is running is the Freya. And we do have some more, you know. Like, the new Aina is, you know, would probably be considered that. We have the Makoto from a while back. Um, I'm not sure exactly what she does, but I know she's tank-ish. Um, she helps tank. So... But this is a really solid team. I, I've said that before. I really like this team. And it's crazy. Anyway. So the last um, Hero 1. So the last Hero 1 is a not real. It's a troll team. Um, which is fine. I, I, I think this is cool that, um, you know, they may just be doing this. He may just be doing this to you know not let people see his actual team. But I don't see why it would matter. I honestly think that he's doing this just, you know, so people have more of a chance to get into top. I did this last season. I'll probably do it again this season when I hit hero. Who knows, though? Um, just kind of put a team out. I put a team of Lafias out. So <laughs> if you guys see a team of Lafias, just know it's for you, baby. Anyway, um, that is all the hero wants. Then we have... You know, to get into, to stay in Hero 1, though, he would have had to have won a game with that, so that's really interesting. I don't know. Anyway. Um, Chaos. Let's check out Chaos. Uh, Chaos is, is a physical team, but not physical rush. Yeah. Oh. oh, there's something in my hand. Anyway, um, not physical rush, which is interesting that there is a physical team in Hero 2 that is not physical rush. Um... But it's cool. Like, it's a really good team. We have the, you know, uh, Valentine's Ryu, like I was saying. We have the Bell, the Familia Bell. Familia Bell. I, I keep saying that. The movie Bell, 
um, the movie Ryu and Lunor. And, you know, I, this is good. This is good. I, I could probably try something like this myself without um, um, Artemis. However, I like Artemis a lot, so I'm probably going to keep her on. Um, and then we have the slow Hestia. I really like her. I'm not running her right now, but I'm probably going to in the future. I don't know. I was playing around with it a little bit earlier, seeing what I like, but I'm not sure yet. So I'll, I'll just keep playing with it. The new Aina, I believe that is the new Aina. Um, she's really solid. And with all the physical rush running around right now, you know, she's really good. So I, I understand that completely. We have... Hestia, and you know, that's in place of the Artemis assist. I was running her, I am running the Artemis assist now because I maximum broke her finally. And then the plus 15% damage Hestia, um, and then speed plus 10% speed, but you know, anyway. Um, back row's cool. We've got Tione, I believe, and then Bell, um, New Year's Bell, so he's really solid. I, I would almost run him up front, but you know, he's obviously doing it right, so. Probably both are right, to be honest. Probably either way is correct. Um, all right. So we're going to go almost, you know, kind of the same. We have uh, Valentine's Ryu. We have uh, Bell, Lenore, and then Artemis. So we do are running that kind of rush variant. We have that. That's really cool. Um, just notice that out of, what is this, number five or six, five, out of the top five, only one is not running Physical Rush, I believe. Uh, well, besides the um, one that wasn't really, you know, a good, like a solid team. Uh, anyway, another um, tank team, tank team number two. These are pretty, pretty simple, so pretty similar to each other. I believe the exact same front row, exact same assists, except he, uh, two of his assists are not max limit broken. So, yeah. Almost the exact same team. So there's not a lot of room for variation there. There's a little bit of room for variation there, but not a whole lot. Let's check out Dingo here. Um, a fi uh, Finally a Magic Rush team. So this is interesting. It's a Magic Rush team, but we have the Ryu there um, that's going to kind of... Well, I mean, she's a debuffer. She's going to debuff, uh, which is interesting to me. Uh, you know, if I was running Magic Rush, I would almost just put the other Ryu up front so she would seal. Um, but, you know... Uh, it's interesting, and I would do that because this is a physical unit. The one up front is a physical unit currently. She's not going to get buffed off Lily. Um, it's just interesting to me, but, uh, you know, he knows what he's doing. And, but I don't, I, I just, I really don't like mixing the physical and magic, so, who knows. Anyway, um, let's go number eight, uh, Yuri. I think this is... Yeah, this is like Yuri Love. I think that was uh, the old name. I'm pretty sure. And, unless it's just a different person. It's very similar. Um, Magic Rush. And we do have the old Ryu that, um, the debuff Ryu that is a um, poison. And I do like that more for sure. Uh, and then we have physical in the back row, which is cool. I mean, I, I don't mind mixing elements in the back row. I just don't really like it up front because I feel like it definitely takes away damage uh, that you could be doing. So I do like this though. And it's just basic magic crush, pretty much. This is what it was when, you know, uh, the eyes dropped, the New Year's eyes dropped. This is pretty much what it was, and it was everywhere, everywhere. But it's not as everywhere anymore, so. But it's pretty, that's pretty basic for that. Let's go check out Spittlebug. All right. Ryu, yeah, so th like I said, the, the physical rush units are pretty interchangeable. Just add Artemis, and, you know, one of the top, like, 10 physical units and or like three of the top 10 physical units and you got it so uh this is one of those times and it, he is running slow which i really dig <laughs> and uh i am running an ailment but mine's stun mine's the la uh, aaron i keep saying levi mine's the aaron <laughs> titan aaron um he, he's stun so but i'm not running uh slow anymore which is unfortunate Anyway, this is cool, um, you know, just kind of basic. Uh, I like that we're still seeing Sparkle Princess Eyes run, like, in the top players. It's just awesome to me. Uh, awesome to me. I love it. Um, anyway, let's check this out. Chloe. I, th it, I wonder if this is the guy that I was playing. Uh, I remember playing a guy... Uh, a couple seasons ago that was playing Chloe. I played him a few times, and I loved it because it's just... <sighs> Chloe. Uh, she was awful. Awful. When the game came out, like, terrible. Um, 
like I pulled her like two twice or three times and I was so mad because I wanted a good character and I got kept getting Chloe. She was just awful. Her stats were awful, her abilities were awful. And she got a buff. She did get a buff and that made her a lot better. Uh, definitely made her a lot better, but she is cool. Like she has poison, and she she is pretty cool. She she helps with dark teams, especially. We have, you know, Levi over there, and but no, I like it. And he's kind of made this like a physical rush team with her, and I do dig that because Artemis helped her a lot as well. Uh, so I dig that a lot. Um, but I just love seeing Chloe run. It just makes me so happy. Um, yeah, just basic assists, pretty much. We have T. I haven't seen a T this season, so that's cool. We do have T over there in the back row, but. Uh, yeah, that Chloe makes me so happy. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and check out what Gallatin down there is doing. I'll do Swise and then Gallatin, and then we'll call it a day, and I'll check out my team and just kind of go over what I think you should be expecting. So we have Ryu, Artemis, Lenore, and uh, Ryu. So, you know, kind of basic, uh, like I said. Ryu, the debuff Ryu is being run a lot now. Um, I got her plus three. I could have done the paid banner and gotten her plus four. I probably should have, but I didn't. Um, but I might max her and throw on her team someday, but probably not soon. I do have Ana Kitty, and she's almost as good. Like, Ana Kitty's almost as good, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, this does look like a good team, uh, for sure. Uh, I, I do like the Anya. However, you know, it, it's kind of like Anya 20% debuff versus, um, leave, or... <laughs> Aaron, 15% debuff and stun, and I kind of like that better, honestly. Uh, just having the chance to stun, the 5% doesn't matter as much as the stun to me. I also don't have uh, Anya Max, so it doesn't really matter what matters to me. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I, I like, I think I like um, Aaron better. Anyway, we have um, another physical rush. So, I, I think conclusive, like... Not counting the one that was like it had not MLB characters and like level 40 characters and stuff on it, uh, that was in Hero 1. I think out of the top 12, I think this was 12, right? Yeah, out of the top 12, there were, not counting that, uh, so I guess the top 11, there were two, there were was one Magic Crush team and two tank teams. So all of the rest, uh, like the other eight, were physical rush teams, and there, there was one like just physical team without Artemis, but I'll kind of group that in together. Um, a lot of physical teams. So if you're going high ranks this season, and you know, like I'm in King three right now, and I've seen a lot of weird stuff. Like I've seen, you know, in King three, you, you see stuff like um, a bunch of free to play units. You see magic slash physical teams. You see, you, you know, you will see um, physical rush teams and stuff like that in in King three, uh, in King two, but you're going to start seeing more, you're going to see more weird stuff as well, like, that you, you aren't really as prepared for, but when you get into King 1, when you get into Hero 3, what you're really going to want to look out for this season, I believe, is Physical Rush, and I know that's been the case the last couple of seasons, but, you know, this season, like, we just went through, you guys can go through, um, you know, all 50 if you want and check them out, but there are a lot of physical rush, a lot of physical rush. And there are quite a few tank teams as well. Like in the top 12, there were two tank teams. There are going to be some more in top 50. There are going to be some more in King 1, uh, Hero 3. You know, tank teams are pretty popular as well, as well as Magic Rush teams. I think Magic, a lot of Magic Rush teams are sitting in King 1. I know at least last season, a lot of Magic Rush teams were sitting in King 1 uh, and couldn't quite get out, um, which is interesting. Uh, I don't, I'm not really sure the reason for that, but... Uh, but there are a lot of physical teams also. Like, physical rush teams are also sitting in King 1 and not getting out, but there are a lot of physical rush teams also in, um, in Hero. So, be, be, be wary of physical teams. Uh, I do think the new Aina assist is insane. Um, you, you did see one person in the top 10 using the Aina assist, and she is so good, uh, to combat physical teams. Uh, I am not summoning for her just because I really, really, she's general pool, and I really want the collab units, um, you know, I, I really do. So, I'm not summoning for her like I was going to. However, she is super good. I, I'll check out my team now, show you guys, um... Let's battle one of my friends. I always battle Vado, so let's just... <laughs> um, anyway. Um, here is Vado's team. Here is my team. So we have Summer Eyes, um, Honor Succession, Bell, Artemis, and the Familia... 
movie bell. The movie bell. So I'm very happy I finally got him Max. I did get the well box uh, yesterday, and I used the ticket to get the last copy of him that I needed. So he is maxed. Um, and in the back row, I have Levi and Eyes. I'm um, Attack on Titan Eyes. I, I, I might replace Levi with Ana Kitty. I'm not sure. I might also put Ana Kitty up here. I haven't gotten uh, far enough to, you know, be playing extremely meta players, um, you, know, you know, to test out what I need to change. I also have Bell set on Ailment for now, but I might, you know, put him to buff or something like that. I'm not really sure because he does have that magic buff. So if I start running into more like Magic Rush teams or something, I might put him on buff. We'll just kind of see. I also don't have a heal at all. I don't even have an assist heal anymore because I did switch the Hestia um, heal slash strength buff to the Artemis, just straight strength buff. She does output a lot more damage, but, um, you know, she doesn't heal at all. So I against tank teams and stall teams, that'll be um, pretty bad for me. But against rush teams, that'll help me a lot. And I think a lot of the meta right now is rush teams of different, you know, kinds, of different variations. So I do think that, that is the better choice right now. I don't... I, I'll see. We'll see. I might have to swap it out, but I do like her for now. Anyway. Um, the assists, I have the Aaron assist. He does a stun and then 15% um, physical resist um, debuff to your opponent. And then Artemis, you know, 20% to the holder of the assist and then 15% strength to everyone else. Uh, no ailment, Hestia, 15% <laughs> damage, 10% speed, Hestia, and then the null physical and null magic. So I'm very happy about my team right now. I really do like them. I think I might, I've been thinking about swapping um, Eyes and Ice, kind of swapping them around. Uh, we'll see. I have Eyes, the uh, Eyes summer eyes up front because she does remove strength buffs and i don't know how to make her move strength buffs because you know that's a debuff i believe and all of her moves have debuffs i think all of them at least two of them do so it's like i, I don't know how to really set it to guarantee that but you know there is that chance of removing strength buffs as opposed to not the chance of removing strength buffs even though this eyes uh the attack on titan eyes would do a little bit more damage i believe so we'll kind of see what happens um I might be switching them around. We'll see, uh, you know, when it comes to when I get to the higher ranks and start playing against other, you know, physical rush teams, tank teams, stuff like that. We'll see, you know, which one does better. Anyway, uh, I think that's it, honestly, for today. Uh, you know, I don't have, like, a chart of everything. Oh, I'll, I'll go ahead and play Vado. Uh, I don't have a chart of, like, everything that I faced this um, war game season. I might do that again next war game season. I did want to do it, uh, but I just have not, you know, really. Um, when I'm playing war game this season, I always like. I don't know. I'm always in school or doing something, and uh, so I haven't really been keeping track. And I haven't really gotten. To, I just got to king, uh, and and you know, last war game season I did king three through king one, um, and you know, in the future I might just do king one. We'll see how that goes. Uh, already King 2 and King 1, so I don't know. That is That happened, though. Uh, you did see me stun Vado. Um, he doesn't run any ailment resist, so it's kind of easy to stun him and stuff. I'll, I'll go and play the number one. I'll play Jesus, Jesus Juice as well, see whose physical rush team is better. Um, probably his. Probably his. But yeah, let's go, go ahead and check this out. I'll go ahead and walk through it. Uh, my bell is extremely fast, by the way. He's like 1,500 speed. Yeah, so he'll attack first. No ailment. Um, ooh, that, that did a lot. Yeah, wipes my entire front row. That's crazy. Um, wow. Eyes just got destroyed. Yeah, so I am holding my own, but he is still smashing me. Yeah, so he just destroyed me. Anyway, that's cool, though. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. It's cool. Um, I need to throw, you know, one of the like strategies that I was use that I was going through in my head is I need to put slow Hestia in here to wipe both debuffs. I know I talked about that last season where some of the element teams were, you know, putting two debuffs in their assist to debuff and then wipe the Hestia assist off so that their debuff or their ailment adventurers could then apply ailments. And I do think that is a strategy that I would like to um employ uh because 
I think it's really good. I just need to figure out which assist I want to take off uh, because uh, it is a little tight right now um, because they're all really good assists. Anyway, um, I think that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, be just a reminder. I, I kind of lost my train of thought. Just a reminder. The new Familia Rush comes out tonight, so that is awesome. Um, just a reminder about that. Uh, also, the new Dispatch Quests should be coming out tonight, and you have another week, almost a week. I think it comes out next Wednesday. Um, it comes out the 27th, whatever day that is. Um, I believe it's next Wednesday uh, for the new collab. So save up your iris, save up your materials, and I'll be doing the same. Um, but that's it. Thank you, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.